Hello YouTube, this is World of War Black Ops Pro, and today I'm bringing you guys two very fast paced gameplays. So the first one I go 51 and 1 on Nuketown, and guys this, by the way, this is TDM, so it is very hard to get a 50 plus TDM, so guys, do be sure to leave a like on the end of this video, like once once you're done watching. And also, because it, because this game, the first gameplay is only like 4 minutes long, I decided to include a second one, which is, which I get 40, where I go 40 and 0, so they're both fast paced, this, this uh, video is not going to be too, too long, even though there's two games in here, so guys, I hope you enjoy, and let's go into the, sub, the subject of today's commentary, which is, which is kill whoring in Call of Duty, and why it exists, and what the developers can do to fix it, because in my opinion, it, it actually is somewhat of a big problem, even though I do it myself from time to time. And the, the, the reason why I got this topic, like this idea, was because like there was, there was this guy who was hating on one of my, my videos, my advanced warfare video. You know the how to do well in advanced warfare, and I teach people how to camp behind a shield with an LMG. Well, he, he left it. I hate comment on it. And me and him are going back and forth, and then after a few com a few comments later, he actually became much more rational. And and yeah, so was, and he kind of explained why he doesn't like campers and. And so then I got the idea to do this commentary about kill whoring, so yeah, here I am now. And so kill whoring in Call of Duty has sort of always existed, but it is more prevalent in the newer Call of Duties, and there's a few reasons for that. So in in older games like COD 4 and World at War, there were only the 357 kill streaks, and those are pretty easy to get. You didn't have to camp very hard for those, and P people who wanted just to play for kills could, could play TDM without a problem because because it, it wouldn't take you half the game to get those streaks because those streaks weren't even very high. But as the game progressed, starting especially in Marfa 2, where the kill streaks are much much higher, 25 being the 25 kill nuke especially, it became necessary to move to playlists without a kill limit, and that's. One of the biggest reasons why there, there's kill whoring today, and why it exists today. But at Black Ops One, guys, they, they did a good job. There's a balance between kill whoring and kill street. Well, yeah, there's a balance really. Because even though I like getting a ton of kills, I can still do really well. I can still do really well in the games like Team Deathmatch because the streaks aren't so high up that it takes me half the game to get them because if it did then I'd probably be playing domination or demolition or something like that where there is no kill limit but the streaks are good they get me lots of kills but they don't take half the game to get and that and that's a problem with black ops 2 where the streaks were so high up there I mean they were good but they're, they're not like advanced warfare where they're really high up and they suck once you get them but they were really high up there so it, it took forever to get them and TDM just wasn't gonna get you your streaks you need to play an objective game mode where you can camp the objective and get you can get extra points for defending the objective and plus there's no kill limit and guys the kill limit in TDM worked in older Call of Duties because in older Call of Duties there wasn't as many high kill streaks and because of that the score limit wasn't reached very wasn't reached as fast it wasn't reached as fast guys and then that's one of, that's one of the biggest problems with the, with the newer Call of Duty is that if you play TDM, the TDMs are way too short, and a TDM that lasts only like four minutes that's that's too short for me. I'd rather have it last more like ten minutes. Me, it allow me to get more kills in. And yeah, guys, and part of the reason I think that they don't change they don't change uh, the, the, the TDM formula around is because developers are nervous of what might happen in TDM because TDM is the most played playlist, but there's a solution that I think will appeal to everyone. People who like classic TDM and people who kill horror. Because the kill horrors, let's, let's face it guys, they just want kills. So, if if we made another playlist called TDM Extended, where maybe we had the score limit at 150 or 200, or maybe we didn't even have a score limit, maybe we just had a time limit, then that could work out. That could work out pretty well. But the reason why I don't think they do that is because, number one, they would have to design another playlist, and I think they're too lazy to do that. And number two, they the, they would they would split up the playlist populations too much, probably. And be, and that part of the reason why they, they don't want to split up populations is because of the listen server thing versus dedicated server. They 
how the list of server works is someone on the, is someone has chosen to be host, and the be, the the more people on a playlist, the more likely you are to be paired up with someone in your region, and that will give you a better connection. And if the playlist populations are split up too much, you'll have to you'll have to do use whatever connection that's available. So even if the guy lives in, in lives in like Mexico or something, and you live in somewhere in the U.S., like you you still might still have to put up with that connection. And that's unfortunate, guys. But if they, if they did put a dedicated servers in this game, I think most of that problem would be solved. But they're too cheap to do that. But I really hope they do put extended TDM because I like TDM. I mean. That's what I played and played in Black Ops. That's what I played in World World of War and COD 4, because TDM works well in that game, those games. But it doesn't work so well in Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3, Black Ops 2, or Advanced Warfare. Really, I haven't really tried Advanced Warfare, but I just don't really like. The, I don't like the kill limit because the kill limit is way too small. I mean, if you divide it evenly between six teammates, it comes out to maybe close to maybe around 12 kills. Around 12, 12 kills per person, 12 and a half kills, and that's not that much. And for a kill war, they want to get as much kills as possible, and it's really hard to get. It's you, you'll get a really good game if you, if you get 30 or or above. It's really hard to get 50 or 40 kill TDM. It's really hard to get that because of the score limit, and I really feel that if they just remove the score limit or do something like, did they make the streaks easy enough to get to? Like they did in Black Ops 1, I think the series would be much better off, and there'd be much less people going to objective game modes where there is no kill limit. So just to get their streaks, because in Black Ops 2 I did that, and with the trapping, I mean everybody goes and do demolition or something like that. And a lot of people who play those game modes are just kill whores who would probably rather be playing TDM, but the TDM doesn't cater enough to their playstyle. So I really do think we need something like TDM Extended. I don't see. How much? It's not going to take very much development time. Just because it's just team deathmatch, you change a few things around, make the, make the time limit long. Maybe make it like yeah, just 10 minutes. I think 10 minute TDM would be fine. But just take the the kill limit off, and I think that'd be much better. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the commentary, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, this, and don't forget to leave a leave a comment about whether you think what what you, your opinion is on extended TDM because I think it would work. I uh, just want. Just want to hear your thoughts in the comment section below. So, anyway, guys, this is me, World of War, and thanks for watching.